Hello, in this video series, we'll cover installation for your newly purchased reverse osmosis system. Tools you'll need. To install your RO system, you'll need a few tools to make the installation easy. You'll need the following. 3 8 and quarter inch drill bits, faucet drill bit, size type will vary on the faucet used, Phillips head screwdriver, tubing cutter or razor knife, channel lock pliers, adjustable wrench, and Teflon tape. Once you've verified that you have all the proper parts and tools, we'll proceed with the installation. If you are missing any parts, please contact a customer service representative from U.S. Water. If you ordered multiple accessories for your RO, those may have shipped separately. When you receive your reverse osmosis system, the first thing you need to do is remove the module from the box. Attached to the module are four colored tubing. The red tube is the feed. The black is the drain, the white is the tank supply, and the blue tube is for the product drinking water or to the faucet. If the tubing is too long, you can cut the excess off with a John Guest tube cutter or razor knife. You can leave the length of the tubing if you like. This will allow you to take the manifold out of the cabinet when it's time to change your filters. You can find this tubing cutter on our website at www.uswatersystems.com. We do not recommend cutting the tubing with scissors. Next, if you'll find all your necessary fittings and accessories inside the box, make sure everything is there prior to installation. This is the saddle. This is the seal that goes on the saddle. This is the nut that also goes on the saddle. And these are the other parts needed for mounting. This is the inlet valve or angle stop valve. This is the tank valve and this is the faucet connector. This is the tube stiffener that will go into the end of the drain line that will be inserted into the saddle. Also included with your RO is a filter wrench for the filter housings. Your system will be shipped with a standard RO faucet. You can upgrade your faucet at www.uswatersystems.com. Now we'll remove our reverse osmosis tank and base. Bases may or may not be included. This is a standard NSF certified 3.2 gallon metal tank. The tank valve will be installed on the top of the tank at the threaded port. Use Teflon tape and wrap four to five wraps on the threaded port in a clockwise manner. The base is only needed if you need to lay your tank on its side, otherwise it can stand upright on its own. This is the air bladder valve which is used to provide water pressure to the tank. This bladder valve is similar to a tire valve. The bladder pressure should be between 5 to 7 psi. Do not over or underfill the bladder with air. The system will not operate properly if the bladder pressure is wrong. Now you're ready to install your reverse osmosis system. Please go to reverse osmosis installation video number two. 